Hey everyone, this is Marley here with Duke Schnauzers in Tennessee, and I wanted to do a video for you guys to talk to you a little bit about what the difference is between a phantom miniature schnauzer and a regular miniature schnauzer, okay? So if you are unfamiliar with that, you're gonna wanna listen to this because it can be kind of confusing, especially nowadays when there's so many different non-standard colors being bred um, in the miniature schnauzer community. So. This is Dixie. Dixie came to us a few weeks ago. She's already grown so much. And she is a liver and tan miniature schnauzer. She's still very fluffy, obviously. We love the puppy fluff in this house, so we have not cut her hair. So she is a phantom, okay? So you can see on her face, I'm gonna go in close with her, so it's gonna focus on her hopefully and not me. Um, so you could see on her face how the tan fur, which almost probably looks white with this ring light, um, is so um, striking. It doesn't have any darker hairs intertwined going across her muzzle. It's just all very white. And it's the same way, I'm sorry, light. And it's the same thing on her paws here, okay? So there's no dark hairs mixed in. Um, at all and she also has that on her chest and on her back legs right there so again she is a liver and tan this is a rare color here and the fact that she's a phantom is a pretty big deal it's more rare um, and she's definitely more flashy that's kind of one of the words that um, breeders use to describe so I'm going to put her down actually you know what I'm going to show you a non-phantom with her so you can see I'm also almost gonna drop my camera at the time. Okay, so this is Arlo. Love him, look at the camera. So this is, <laughs> he is a black and red miniature schnauzer. So you can see his face and you could see the difference. Okay, so both of these dogs are considered, um, so tan points. So tan points genetically when we look at their DNA is what we call a dog who looks like a black and silver, um, who is a black and red, who is a liver and tan, they have tan points. So they're genetically very similar, but you can see if you look at Arlo's fur, as gorgeous as his red is, and you really can see it a lot more on his chest. Let's see if I can flip up one of his ears. Up oh, there you go, you can see it under his ears. Um, but you see how there's black hair kind of mixed in on his muzzle right there? As we're Dixie's, it's all very, um, clean. So that's the difference. So um, you have phantom, you have non-phantom. So this is a, an example of a black and red with standard markings. And then this is a liver and tan with phantom markings. If you followed me at all um, and you've seen my dogs and you've seen Ava, Ava May is a black and silver phantom. So her markings are very clear, much like Dixie's, and but the but Dixie's are a little bit more prominent, in my opinion. I'm gonna put her down, okay. And then here's Arlo, because everybody loves Arlo, including us. Big blue eyes, gorgeous. And again, here you can see on the paws, so you see there's darker hairs mixed in. Um, not quite as just striking, but very beautiful, very desirable color. Um, him being a black and red is more rare, much more rare than like a black and silver or um, even a black and silver phantom. So that's the big difference. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message or you can visit my website at www.dukeschnauzers.com and get in touch that way. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. He says bye.